Welcome. This is David Bowles, Human Meme. Today's topic, how to cover Wish You Were Here. In my 2010 BowlesBlogs.com article, Slower is Never Better, I discuss the tendency of the amateur musician to slow down an established hit song, a hit song sung by someone else originally, so that they may then try to sing it better while learning the song more simply and slowly. And the loss of tempo in those cover performances is discouraging. And it gets even worse when superstars like Bruce Springsteen take a hit song of their own, like, say, Thunder Road, and then slow it down to reinterpret it while ruining their own song in the process, simply because they can no longer reliably sing it today in the original tempo. But that is a whole other topic for another Human Meme Podcast episode. And so, my friend, all of that sort of brings us back to this week's topic, an analysis of cover performances of Pink Floyd's wonderful song, Wish You Were Here. And today, we're talking specifically about that song and not the whole album. Here's some background for you for framing in context. The time is 1975. The place, the Abbey Road Recording Studio. Roger Waters and David Gilmour of Pink Floyd are working on the Wish You Were Here album. And Sid Barrett, former member, former lead singer, and former founder of Pink Floyd, surprises everyone and arrives on the scene. And Sid is in a sad state. He had a long history of drug abuse, and on that day, on set, in studio, he arrived with a shaved head and shorn eyebrows. Sid Barrett was particularly overweight, appearing to be a ghost of his former talent. It turned out Sid actually had schizophrenia most of his adult life, but it was undiagnosed for most of his life and neither he nor his band members really understood at the time what was going on with him. And Sid's subsequent slide into mania and depression influenced the writing of Wish You Were Here, and it was in that spirit of concern, anger, and fear for Sid Barrett that influenced not only the album, but that song, Wish You Were Here, in particular. Shine On You Crazy Diamond was wholly written about Sid, but Wish You Were Here, the song, perhaps less so, but the intention is the same for both songs, though in the end it doesn't really matter for the terms of this conversation. A song is a song. Lyrics stand alone as their own thing, in their own specific world, in their own frame, in their own context. So here today, my human being friend, we will analyze Wish You Were Here in performance in secondary amateur cover performance, and we need to sort of understand the context of why and how Wish You Were Here was written, and we now understand that. And now we need to take the next step and completely dismiss that history, because what really matters is the song itself, as it stands naked and not the inspiring motivation to write the song in the first place. Now, what many of those who choose to cover, wish you were here, what they miss is that the song is one of confrontation and condemnation, a call-out from the wilds, a demand for action against inaction. Wish You Were Here is an intervention song, as well as being a lament for the lost. And Wish You Were Here isn't a question-and-answer song, It is a song of choice, a song of this or that, of which there is only anger left behind in the obvious, unspoken, wrong answer. So you think you can tell heaven from hell, blue skies from pain? Can you tell a green field from a cold steel rail? 
a smile from a veil? Do you think you can tell? Oh, such a simple, beautiful set of lyrics. And we have the idea right at the start of the song. Clear confrontation of behavior and life choices. The song is angry. Listen to the original recording. It's really a brutal song, aggressive, fed up. However, in so many of these amateur cover performances, meaning other people trying to sing that song, wish you were here, there are just too many who are fooled by the beautiful melody without fully understanding the fury in the lyric. You cannot place melody over the lyrics. They must be equal. And in not understanding the problem with the melody fighting against the lyrics, these cover artists completely miss the point, the power, the drama of the song. You cannot sing Wish You Were Here with a smile on your face. It sounds like a pretty song, but it's not. The amateur performers provide a performance that is more of a longing lullaby than an in-your-face intervention. And that is a dysfunctional display in performance and misleads the listener away from the real intention of the song. And all of that is really a crime against the originating creativity. And unfortunately, that is nothing new. Wish You Were Here continues in winding up more tension with even more condemning revelations of past behaviors that led to present falls. Did they get you to trade your heroes for ghosts, hot ashes for trees, hot air for a cool breeze, cold comfort for change? Did you exchange a walk-on part in the war for a leading role in a cage? Well, that's some tough, beautiful stuff right there. Now, there is one cover of Wish You Were Here that gets this tone right, gets the rage, the disappointment right. And it's not performed by an amateur, but rather a pro. And that professional singer gets right the contrasting melody that tricks amateur performers into singing the song with the wrong tone for the lyrics. And, my human meme friend, that cover is performed by none other than Alice Cooper. Oh yes, Alice Cooper, the real Motor City Madman. Alice Cooper gets Wish You Were Here correct in his cover. Now, in the cover of that song, Alice Cooper teamed up with Rick Wakeman And together they covered Wish You Were Here for the symphonic version of the original Wish You Were Here album. Now, if you listen to Alice's cover, you will hear Alice's raspy, angry, confrontational singing style. And you'll know it is all just the right tone for the context. And all of that willpower is saddled up against Rick Wakeman's beautiful, pontificating, lilting piano accompaniment that actually confronts, makes an affront, to David Gilmore's original haunting guitar in the song. Yes, Wakeman's piano takes on Gilmore's guitar and wins with a sweet and winding tension of its own. One stretched string exchanged for an even tighter one. And it's all done with a smile from behind the keyboard challenging a mask of fire that covers the resurrection of the resuscitation of a friendship. The Alice Cooper, Rick Wakeman, Wish You Were Here cover is all such a strange but tactical reminiscence of the past, both harsh and bittersweet in the same moment, which then reflexively mirrors the original Wish You Were Here. Well done, Alice Cooper! and Rick Wakeman. Such a bizarre and wonderful cover that actually works. Alice Cooper and Rick Wakeman know a smile from a veil. So, my human meme friend, if you're an amateur and performer, and if you want to cover a famous song, you need to not only master the melody, 
but you need to understand the entire intention behind the lyrics. You cannot reinterpret a song and also ignore the internal mechanisms, the wants of that song, because then you're writing a new song based on the original idea, and you're not honoring the real original inspiration at all. And yes, there is responsibility inherent in any adaptation. And every cover of a song is an adaptation of the original. And the singer needs to honor that resiliency in performance. David Gilmour replaced Sid Barrett in Pink Floyd. But that didn't mean he didn't care about Sid. And yes, they were friends to the end, indeed. And even today, when David Gilmour sings his own song, Wish You Were Here, in performance, there is still the visible anger and biteable rage in the disappointment found in the original recording. And now, the final lament. Worry between friends, now bound together in fame and despair, with no way out, except this final confrontation. How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year, running over the same old ground. What have we found? The same old fears. Wish you were here. Thank you for listening. Be a human meme.